Hey y'all, this is Corey with Custom RV, and today I have another new R-Pod to show you. Uh, this is the R-Pod 10th Anniversary Edition, R-Pod 179. And uh, we're gonna do a interior and exterior walk around and talk about some of the awesome features. Uh, feel free to post any questions or comments in the comment section below. Um, I will be going over pricing as well. Um, I apologize in advance for the wind noise. It's fairly breezy today. Uh, so if you need any clarification once we get to the outside features, uh, please feel free to contact me in the comment section or uh, give our sales team a call. So you're looking at the rear kitchen portion right now. Uh, you've got the nice thermofoil pressed membrane uh, countertops. These are a waterproof material that allows you to recess your stink, sink and your stove covers. Speaking of the stove, if I lift that up, you notice the two burner stove. Uh, this will act as a backsplash as well or extra counter, countertop space. You've got the nice rear window with the pleated nightshade. All your, all your windows, in fact, are going to have the pleated nightshades. Nice high rise pull out, or a nice high rise faucet, I should say. Um, and you notice the nice uh, rounded sink. It's uh, pretty European with the uh, cooktop or the sink cover. GFI protected outlet and dual USB ports. If we open up some of the storage, you notice great extra storage down there. You've got three drawers. This first one is fairly small. And then the next two are a lot deeper. And they are on full extension plywood box, beveled edges. They have beveled edges and uh, they are on ball bearing drawer glides. Another 110 outlet right there. And if we open this up, you'll notice the good extra storage here as well. New wood, co new wood color. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than last year's. If we turn around over here, you'll notice great extra storage. All your cabinetry is going to be pocket screwed. And uh, it has the hidden hinges, which is a lot cleaner. And down there's your breakers and fuses. And more extra pantry space. Spinning back around over here, you've got your convection microwave oven. Uh, this will cook your food in half the time and introduce 25% uh, less heat into the RV. This one weighs 2737 pound, uh, 100 pounds and is 20 foot overall in length. Below that you have your three-way fridge, freezer. You do have the little removable freezer compartment there. This will work off a 12 volt 110 power and propane. While we're here, we'll go ahead and we'll get to the price. Again, this is the 179. Uh, regular price or MSRP is $26,088. Uh, we have this priced at $19,819. Uh, and then up top here, you notice the nice slide face. Yeah, this one does have a slide. Open up some of the storage. You notice the nice glass inserts. And these are all strapped supported doors so good extra storage there you notice the nice window and then this u-shaped dinette so this is on an your table is on an elliptical base uh, so you can fold it down for uh, for an extra bed this that's actually what this pillow is for or the cushion I should say it is the the filler cushion that goes in here that is something that previous generations did not have and th these do have storage underneath here as well they're kind of hard to do one-handed but there is storage underneath the in portion up here you've got a prep for the um, for your solar controller uh, this does not come with the solar controller uh, but if you wanted one, this is where it would go. That is an optional piece of equipment. So if you want one with a full on solar panel, get, uh, give our sales team a call and we can get you a price quote on that from the manufacturer. Below that, you've got your thermostat for your heat and air conditioning, your tank monitoring panel with your water heater and water on gas and your water pump controls as well as your tank levels. 
And then down here is your main control panel. You've got some lighting controls, your slide out control, and your awning control. All right, let's take a look at the wet bath. So you've got a nice LED light there. Of course, I don't have this powered. You have the max air vent fan. That's one reason why this does not go all the way up. Um, Cause this is a whole house fan. It exhausts 920 cubic feet of air per minute on its highest setting. You've got a nice little sink here. You notice you can get adult sized hands in there. Hot and cold water. Hand wand to make showering easier. Shower pan and a toilet. You also do have a shower curtain and this nice little organizer for uh, your soaps, shampoos, body washes, etc. You have a full 13,500 BTU low profile air conditioner on this one. That's an optional piece of equipment. Uh, I would be shocked if I ever saw an R Pod at any dealer without this, but uh, keep in mind it is an option. Over here is your AM FM Bluetooth uh, multimedia center. You've got your controls for inside, outside, or both. And this is expandable. You notice the HDMI and USB ports. So if you did want to add a DVD or a CD player, you can. Underneath here, you've got a nice hanging closet and it's mirrored, which is uh, nice. And then below that, you've got three full extension plywood box drawers. And then up here, pardon the box and the cushion, uh, these are just some of the things that come with the unit. You'll notice both windows on each side with the pleated nightshades, and a, it's 60 by 74 uh, inch queen bed up front. There is storage underneath there for use in the summer months. Uh, your furnace is located underneath there, so you can't really put anything there in the winter time. Okay guys, that wraps it up for the inside. Let's go take a look at the outside. So you've got the nice exterior grab handle, two folding entry steps. They do are aluminum, so they're not going to rust, and they do have the grip tape on there in case it's wet. Good looking aluminum wheels, and you have the torsion or the Torflex uh, suspension, and, uh, which is an upgrade over your standard leaf springs. Black tank flush right there, so that'll spray the inside of your black tank out. Two exterior uh, speakers, and you'll notice the scare light up top. Thule power awning, so this will come out uh, with the push of a button. Same thing to go right back in. And uh, that's an upgrade over last year so because of this power. Four corner stabilizer jacks, spare tire back here. All LED interior and exterior uh, lights, including tail and marker lights. Moving up a little bit further, you've got a 110 outlet in case you need to plug anything outside. This is a cold water spray port for the blue coily hose that comes with it. If I open up this, you'll notice this is your pass-through storage. This one has the optional camp kitchen. So you've got the wash basin that is removable and the two burner cooktop. Now this whole thing is removable, so if you want the pass-through storage, uh, you can remove this and gain your, regain your storage space. Single 20-pound propane tank, powered uh, tongue jack with a light. <coughs> You've got a rails for your battery, and there's a propane quick disconnect on that side, which I forgot to mention. Six gallon gas electric hot water heater with direct spark ignition. You've got your furnace vent, fresh water fill, and city water connection. Here's your slide. So one thing you'll notice is this is a fully laminated unit. Uh, backing up, I do want to mention that this is a one, you've got the diamond plate here, and this is a one piece fiberglass roof all the way from here all the way to the back, which is nice. Exterior shower, or actually your exterior shower is right here. That was your uh, your fridge vent, and you've got your power outlet and cable and satellite connections. Let's see. There's one other thing that I want to talk about, and it's on this side. So this coach has Asdell on board, as you can see right there. 
What Asdel is is a a uh, composite panel that replaces Luon in the in the uh, lamination process. Uh, it so it's a waterproof composite material that uh, it's rot mold and mildew proof. It takes an R7 ultralight wall, makes it an R9. It has a superior sound dampening quality, and it's lighter. Uh, and our pod is the first teardrop to use Asdell, which is another neat feature. And you'll also notice the new Ice Pearl, uh, Ice Pearl exterior colors as well. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions or you would like to learn more about this particular R-Pod, feel free to give me a call. My number is 806-335-2336. Uh, you can also view all of our available R-Pods or any other uh, units in stock on our website, which is www.custom-rv.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.